A paver walkway can add an attractive touch to any landscape. Here's an easy way to install a walkway using interlocking paver base panels. Start by deciding on a pattern and style. Traditional basic patterns include jack-on-jack -jack or running bond. Patterns such as herringbone or pinwheel are more advanced and require more cutting. If you want a decorative look that's easy to install, consider stamped pavers that look just like stone. When it comes to the width of your walkway, 48 inches is comfortable for two people side by side, but 36 inches is standard. A traditional paver walkway consists of several layers, a six inch layer of gravel paver base, then a one inch layer of sand, followed by the pavers, and finished with polymeric sand in the joints. For this walkway, we're using interlocking paver base panels instead of the gravel base. They're lightweight, only require a half inch of sand underneath, and the pavers sit directly on top. The best way to mark a straight walkway is with stakes and string. The string layout is square when the diagonals are equal. Also, make sure the strings are level. For curves, mark with a hose using a 2x4 to keep the width the same. Then cut the sod with a spade. The walkway should slope away from the house, about a quarter inch drop per foot. A two foot level with a half inch block of wood attached to the end is helpful to check the slope as you're working. If possible, use the natural slope of the yard. After you've marked your layout, remove the sod and dirt. The total depth will depend on the paver height along with the base. The pavers should sit at or a little above ground level. You'll need to match the height of an existing patio if you have one. It helps to dig the trench a little wider than the walkway and to use a long level to keep the slope uniform. Here's a tip. If you're installing landscape lighting, bury the cables now. After you've removed the dirt, tamp the area with a rented plate compactor. When the ground is solid, add a weed barrier trimmed to extend slightly beyond the area. Next step is to install the paver panels. They need a thin layer of leveling sand underneath. To make the sand uniform, lay pieces of half-inch PVC pipe on the ground, then pour a layer of sand over the area. Use a straight 2x4 to screed the sand across the pipes to create a flat surface. Remove the pipes and fill in with more sand. Set the first paver panel against a straight edge, like a patio if possible. The next panel should overlap the grooves of the adjacent panels. If your walkway is more than one panel wide, stagger the joints. Continue installing the panels to cover the walkway area. Then mark the excess. Here's a tip. Cut a 2x4 wider than the walkway to use as a guide. Once marked, cut with a utility knife. Once the panels have been installed, start laying the pavers against a hard straight edge, like a driveway or patio if possible. We're laying our outer border first, then filling in between. We'll also leave a quarter inch joint between the blocks. You can use a straight edge to keep the blocks in line. Use another 2x4 as a guide to maintain the width of the walkway. Install edging along the perimeter as you go with spikes every 12 inches. Continue installing the rest of the walkway. To cut the blocks, mark, then cut with a circular saw with a concrete blade. An alternative is to use a wet saw. If you're laying the blocks tight together in one direction, mark the curve with a hose, then cut the blocks in place with a circular saw. Next, add sand to fill in between the pavers. We're using polymeric jointing sand, which has additives that provide a better bond. Sweep it into the joints and use a hand tamper to help settle the blocks. Add more sand and repeat as needed. Remove all of the excess with a leaf blower to prevent hazing. Now lightly spray with a hose. Then cut the excess weed barrier. Finish up with plants and landscape lighting to make your walkway the perfect path to a beautiful backyard. Want more great ideas and how-tos? Go to lowes.com slash how-to.